Welcome back to our three-part series, uh, finishing up today on a third one for different metal panels. Just a review on the standing seam that's hidden fastener. It's all under other panels of metal, so you don't see any um, screws exposed. Um, the second one we talked about was the ag panel, traditional pole barn metal. And that there, of course, you do see the exposed fasteners. And this one here is what we call the M panel. And you may ask, what's the difference of that? And it's got this more standing seam look. However, it does have exposed fasteners like the ag panel, and it also installs very similar to the ag panel. Once again, we're always gonna do a complete tear off, put ice and water in the valleys, put synthetic underlayment. You want a moisture barrier in between your wood and also the back of your panel. We start by putting the eave trim or gutter apron at the bottom of that once your felt is installed. And then we will go ahead and we will install panels. And them are very similar to ag panels where they're three feet wide. Then uh, whenever we get in, get over to valleys, of course, there's there's the valley metal that's installed. And then we go ahead and continue to install the panels there. Uh, whenever there's a pipe that comes through the roof, we put a pipe boot that we seal down so it will not leak. And then after all the panels are laid, we go ahead and we finish up with the rake trim to finish out um, all your rakes. And then ridge vent, we will cut in the ridge vent and then we will put um, ridge closures up on top of the ridge so the roof can breathe and keep any moisture and unwanted critters and leaves and that kind of stuff out of there. And then uh, we just clean up and that's, that, that's the end panel. So if we can ever help you with anything, if you've ever gotten up, questions about metal roofing, shingles, siding, gutters, uh, give us a call at 765-561. 4023 and we would love to help you out.